Hey, what is good everyone? My name is BBK Dragoon, and welcome to a Halo Speedrun Starter Guide. This video is going to uh, be geared towards people who are new at running or have zero experience at all. I figured I'd put together a tutorial for you all uh, to get involved with Halo Speedrunning. I've had more of you than I can count actually asking how I got a timer, how you can submit runs, so I figure instead of doing a bunch of individual long text responses, I can put together a video that's going to show you all about timing, where to find out the rules, and how you can start submitting times onto the Halo Runs leaderboards and get closer to those world records. So the first thing I'm going to do here uh, is pull up Google Chrome and my timer is going to stick on top here because it's just kind of awkward like that. And we're going to go to haloruns.com. If you notice here, haloruns.com. This is sort of the hub for all things Halo speed runs right now. It used to be high speed Halo. It's sort of migrated over to haloruns.com. You want to make yourself an account and maybe introduce yourself over on the forum speedrunning communities are usually the nicest on the web, so I wouldn't be too worried. Up at the top, you'll see a button here for the wiki. Uh, you'll want to learn where this is because it's going to have information on all the missions and all the games. So if I wanted to learn the specific timing uh, rules for a specific game, or I wanted to know like world records, all that stuff. So for timing rules, I'm going to click here and it's going to take me there. You guys can see my awesome point 2.2 internet and you've got all the different timing rules uh, depending on which game that you decide to play. Uh, in the essence of keeping this short, I'm going to just jump into the timer. I have linked down below three different timers that you can use. Landfair, W split, and Live Split. The timer that I have right here is called Live Split. Live Split is certainly, I think, the most updated right now, and in terms of the SRL runners, Speedruns Live, which is one of the main speedrunning communities on the internet. Uh, you might recognize a lot of them from AGDQ or any of the GDQs. Most of the runners right now are using Live Split. This is the timer I have here. Uh, it's definitely the most updated and kind of robust, I think, in terms of customization. I just think it's easy. Landfair and W Split are very good. W Split is kind of like the parent to Live Split, uh, but I would encourage you all to get Live Split. If you don't like it, I've given you two other options. Uh, when you get the timer, it just comes with like um, a very basic layout. If I open this up, it will look like this. Um, well, it won't have any splits in it. So once you've installed Live Split, you right click on it and you have a nice menu here where you can do things. If I go to edit splits, this is where you put in your own splits. A lot of folks think the game does it itself. No, speedrunners trigger their timer externally using a hotkey or something like that. Uh, so when you get your timer, you can come edit splits and put in your own splits. Most Halo runners just use missions. That's what I've done here. And if we come over to the layouts, I'm going to open up the layout that I had before, and you can save specific layouts. If you come down to edit layout, uh, this is really cool. It lets you add all sorts of cool things like detailed timers. You can add graphs. You can add a video that syncs up with your PB. Um, I really could spend an entire day. Oops, didn't want to put that there. I could spend like an entire video just talking about how to customize the timer, but really all you need the timer for is for the start and the finish. All the splits in between are just purely for you and they're not going to be really used um, for anything else unless you're going to be doing ILs in your full runs. ILs, by the way, are individual levels and full runs. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else you want to know here. Uh, make sure you are comparing against your personal best. Sometimes it'll default to best segments or best split times or average segments, uh, and players who are new will get confused using these. There's good tools in here. Uh, I encourage you to spend a lot of time using um, these and, and figuring out like what timer suits you and, and all that jazz. Uh, one of the questions that I get asked a lot is how do you get the timer to not show this black background? So. In my runs, I like to have this sit on top of my run, like on top of the screen, uh, and not have a black box. So I make all the background black, and then in XSplit, which you can see here, I just right click the element. If I go here, add screen capture, and I add this timer, yeah, you're going to see it twice. Let's pull that down to make it less confusing. Oh, it doesn't show if I do that. Okay, so you learn new something every day, and I right click it, and I go... You guys probably can't see this, but there's a button in XSplit and in OBS called Color Key. I think it's called that in OBS. And from there, I can just select the black or green or whatever color I make this background, and XSplit or OBS will get rid of it. So ultimately, you can just have a timer sitting here in game, uh, which is fairly useful because you could put this over anything, and uh, I like that. Okay, timer discussion over. Uh, let's cruise on to Halo Runs. Okay. So when you submit a run to haloruns.com, let me minimize X split so it doesn't freak out. When you submit a run to Halo Runs, you need to know a few things. Number one, do not submit a video that is just the MCC leaderboard time. What that means is if I go to submit time and I beat Halo CE on easy, 
uh, the Pillar of Autumn, and I look at my MCC leaderboard, and it's like, you got a 932. You cannot submit times from the MCC leaderboard, okay? Each of the games has its own specific timing rules, and the leaderboard does not count. It's not a valid source. Halo Runs requires a video of your run, and if it is from the Master Chief collection, you need to go back and like retime it. So if I were to just put in my Master Chief collection time here, it won't be accurate, the leaderboard time, because it only counts uh, the moments in the game where you're in control of your character. If you are doing Halo CE, we time that game RTA or real time attack, which means cutscenes, the unskippable cutscenes, are included in our time. The reason we always submit video is because we need that to confirm, or Halo Runs needs that to confirm it is a legitimate run. So I'm assuming most of you who are involved or looking to get involved with speedrunning, A, have a capture card, or B, are serious enough to find a way to record your footage. If you don't have a capture card, you can always use the Xbox One DVR, but you will need to go back and re-record that run, or at least time that run using your external timer so that it has accurate timing. So to summarize, don't use the MCC timer leaderboards, like don't submit those times here. They will not be approved unless you've gone back and timed them with the correct rules using video footage from the Xbox One DVR or your capture card. But if you're going to be using a capture card, just use an RTA timer in the first place. RTA timer is that timer I just showed you, anything that isn't the in-game timer. From there, um, the wiki is a really good place to learn about speedrunning techniques for each of these games. Oh, and if you're starting out, pick a Halo game you like but also watch runs and learn which one you like. Um, each Halo game has its own flavor. Excuse me, like a frog in my throat right there. Every Halo game has its own flavor, especially for speedrunning. There's tricks in CE that are in no other game, just like Halo 2 has sword flying, not in Master Chief Collection. Halo 3 has some really cool slide jumps and gravity hammer boosts, and Halo 4 has a lot of atom map stuff. So I encourage you, if, with speedrunning, you're going to be playing the game a lot, and you really want to pick some game that you enjoy. That's a, a fun point for you to play each time. When you start to learn about running, I would really encourage you to learn the ILs first. ILs stand for individual levels. In Halo speedrunning, there's two things, full game and IL. Individual level strategies are usually a little bit more risky uh, than full run, obviously because if it's a 10 minute mission, uh, there's a lot less consequence for failing it than if it's an hour and a half run or a two hour run. So uh, up here you'll see all sorts of recommended routes and tutorials for the different games. Um, there's a lot of good tutorials here and a lot of good routes where you can take notes and learn uh, the basics of running. This is where I would suggest you start. When you practice, I would practice ILs. Don't start like your first night, I'm going to do a full Halo CE run. No. You're just going to run and get yourself into a really big headache if that's the case. Other than that, have a lot of fun. Submit records. Say hi on the forum. Go fast. If you have questions about anything, let me know down below. I hope that was a good start. And just the rules of thumb, make sure you get a good RTA timer, something like Live Split, W Split, or Landfair. It could be a third party. I don't know. Um, but a good timer that you are comfortable with. Beyond that, when you submit runs, do not submit Master Chief Collection Leaderboard times. And if you do, make sure you have video evidence and you've gone back and retimed it using the timing of rules for the specific your game you're running. That's really the most important part is knowing the rules for whatever game you're running uh, and knowing when the start and end point is for like how you time this level or how you're going to time the full game or whatnot. And then uh, other than that, I think you should be set to jet. Uh, I enjoy doing Halo running. It's, it's quite a bit of fun. I hope you guys get involved too. Uh, other than that, have a great day. I'm BBK Dragoon, and we'll see you next time.